to Pop Dust Presents. I'm Brent Butler, sitting here with awesome, amazing, legendary music producer, Larry Voskin. He is here today to tell us a bit about the Songwriters Hall of Fame, which is having its induction ceremony for 2017 on June 15th. Tell us a bit about this organization, and why do we hear so much about the Grammys and, you know, the Oscars, and we don't hear about the Songwriters Hall of Fame so much? Well, you know, songs are the foundation of the music that we love. You know, if, if music is a church, songs are the brick and mortar. And whether it's Call Me Maybe or Somewhere Over the Rainbow, that's the thing that lasts through time and the vehicle that takes it there. And it's been overlooked. You know, we, we worship celebrity in our culture. So somewhere along the line, people thought, we want to honor the people who create this great work, and then the people who help get that great work out there, the publishers, the producers. Pop so, dust. The, the pop dusts of the world. So um, it's been around for a while, but it has less um, general public awareness than, let's say, the Grammys. And I've been to all of the award ceremonies, and I have to tell you that it's, to me, the warmest, fuzziest night of the year is the Songwriters Hall of Fame. And I'll tell you why, you get to hang with all the celebrities. You know, James Brown's band is on stage playing da na 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 da na 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 And like, I go in the bathroom and James Brown is in there like curling <laughs> his hair and putting on makeup and I'm like, oh my God, like, uh, Mr. Brown, I, I, you know, I was afraid to touch him, like, like I don't know, maybe I'd go, hey! And do the <laughs> so I'm like, you're, you're actually supposed to be on stage right now and like in third person, he's like, I'm sorry, but Mr. Brown don't go on stage until Mr. Brown is ready. You know, I'm James Brown. You know, I'm, I'm James Brown. I'm the godfather of soul. And so I go out in the hallway, and there are a million people running with walkie-talkies. and like, where is he? Where is he? The band is on stage. He's supposed to be there. And I mean, the stage is far from yeah. the bathroom. So I tell them, like, he's, he's in that room. And <laughs> like, five minutes after the band starts, and they're playing da-na-na-na-na-na-na, like, he just sort of struts out on stage, grabs the microphone, does a full split, you know, Bruno Mars, like, and goes, I feel good, da -na -na -na. And I'm like, wow, like, you don't just get to, like, watch stuff, you get to participate at the Sunrise whole thing, because everybody's all together. This year, the people who are being inducted uh, include Jay-Z, who, you know, we all love, and he's changed the world. Uh, Max Martin, who, if anyone doesn't know by now, has been the writer behind a thousand and one hits, whether it's Beyonce or Britney Spears or Katy Perry, he's the biggest hit maker. And then you also have other people who have helped make music change the world, like Barry Gordy is the founder of Motown. So you have this incredible group of people, these are some of them. You also have people who are being honored, like Ed Sheeran is being honored this year because he's, he, huge year. he's just, you know, he puts out a record and it goes number one in 27 countries. How do I sneak into the event? Well, you know, I'll see what I can do. You Is know, there I, sort of like a back door you can leave open? And then... You know, I think you should just come on the red carpet with me and just, I'll just say, this is Brent Butler. Pop Dust Presents you know, coming through. I mean, somebody told me that, like, just put on a tuxedo and walk backwards. And I think I did sneak into the Grammys once, but... You think, you think it's fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy. It's sort of like the 60s. If you remember it, you weren't having a good time. Yep. Um, I don't remember a thing about the 60s. Yeah, so I mean, neither do I. I'm here in this room full of celebrities, and we're all the coolest people on earth. And then, you know, and I'll cheers to that. You know, you are yeah. actually... The cheers. thing about the Songwriters Hall of Fame is you are in a room with the coolest people on earth. Like, John Bon Jovi is going to be one of the presenters. You know, it's an incredible thing what music does. It takes... It's like a time capsule. It takes a moment in time that's personal and makes it universal. 